Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA dropped it on us today. The start of Team of the Season so far has been revealed. They're telling us it comes in six days, 13 hours. So that means on Friday of this next week, we will have our first set of Team of the Season cards in FIFA Ultimate Team. And the market is responding, as you guys would maybe expect. We are seeing a lot of cards just absolutely dying right now on the market because people know that team of the season is coming and that means some of the best cards that we're going to see all year in foot are coming out and they're going to be very accessible that's the main thing with this promo is that team of the season brings so much content to this game it brings so many new cards with insane statistics um that are, are guys that you've never really used in foot before or are guys that you don't usually use and now they have insane usable cards um and it's just a time where you know it's a hype time right this year it's different because we don't have normal team of the season it is team of the season so far of course with the leagues not being finished and a lot of games not being played right now but I'm going to talk you guys through this and talk about the market panic that is going on right now too because we have a lot of panic selling that is happening on this market right now and I want to talk about it and what moves you guys can make uh, and what you can expect for these next few days uh, on this channel and, and on the market. So team of the season so far, I want to point out a couple things and clear up a few things first. Today, a couple people got confused because of the poor wording by EA here. What they said was... Um, there will not be any additional Team of the Season squads released following the conclusion of Team of the Season so far. And when people read this, they got really scared because they thought this meant we were only getting the Team of the Season community Team of the Season or the, the, like the most consistent community Team of the Season. And they thought that after that, nothing else was coming. That is not true, okay? This is Team of the Season so far is just like Team of the Seasons of old times. You can see right here. Team of the season so far is the chance to celebrate the best players in each league so far this season. So we're going to get League 1. We're going to get Prem, Bundesliga, La Liga. We're going to get all the different leagues. Um, but what this means is that if the if the games in those leagues, while, while football in the world find themselves in unprecedented times, like there's no football that's going on right now, right? If the leagues end up continuing later this year, what this statement right here means is that there's basically not going to be a team of the season promo at the actual end of the season, okay? So like this is our team of the season right now, what is going on. So uh, I wanted to clear that up. But basically what they're doing right now is they have a fan vote open on FootWiz and FootHead. A lot of you guys know this. Uh, you will be able to select 23 players from to, to make your own side. And you have to have five from the same league maximum. Two goalkeepers, six defenders, six midfielders, and three forwards. I'm not actually going to go through this and vote because I want to talk more about the market and stuff. Um, but you guys can vote in here. Of course, we can kind of see, you know, some guys that are probably going to win. I think that Fernandinho is, is almost a shoe-in. Casemiro is almost a shoe-in. Uh, Felipe Anderson, Brandt is probably a shoe-in. PK um, is probably a shoe-in as well. And, you know... There's tons, like seriously, there's so much that goes into team of the season with these cards. Like seriously, team of the season is like one of the best times on the market because there are ways you can make coins and invest because SBCs are coming out like every single day. We've got guaranteed team of the season SBCs. We've got all sorts of market movements rising and falling every single week. A new team of the season, a new league comes out. We've got upgrade packs going on. We've got tons of other SBCs in the store. Objectives, I'm sure they're going to work into the game this year. And of course, and I'm going to talk about this multiple times in the video today, foot champions rewards and what they did last year uh, with those, making those tradable team of the seasons available in um, like the team, of the, like a team of the week pack was actually called a tots pack. So we're going to keep our eyes on some of this stuff and wait for some more info on EA on this promo as to whether we're going to see that again because that uh, was huge for the market last year. That pumped so many coins into this market and I so, so, so hope that they're going to do that again this year in foot. But let's talk about the market because there are prices that are absolutely dying. People are losing millions of coins right now on this market with these cards prices. Look at this Eden Hazard for birthday, 1.1 mil. Um, prime icons are dying. Literally, team of the year Ronaldo is a million coins down from where he was just a couple days ago. He's 
uh, you know, 7 mil. This team of the year, Mbappe, is 4.5 mil at the moment. Um, and the foot birthday cards have crashed a ton too. You don't need me to sit here and tell you that stuff is way down in price. You know, right? Uh, Lucas Hernandez, right? One of my favorite guys from this past set of foot birthday cards. This guy, uh, last week, I sold him at basically 300,000 coins. He is now 220K and still dropping. Still dropping. And you, you might be wondering, why are a lot of these cards still being panic sold? Well, look at these, man. People have still had these cards invested. 66 owners. This guy has not played a single game. Unbelievable, man. That's how you know. That seems a bit fishy to me, to be honest with you. But... Uh, look at how many of these cards are still first owner. These are cards that people had purchased and invested because they thought they were going to go up. And now EA drops this promo on us. And it's it's really uh, it's really causing a lot of panic on these foot birthday cards. And they're getting a ton of panic selling happening right now because of all of this undercutting, right? And these guys are still fluctuating. Right now, it is EU nighttime when I'm recording this. Di Maria was literally... An hour ago, he was 690,000 coins. He's back up 50K. Uh, you know, is this stuff getting too low too fast? It's hard to say. But all I can remember is, I don't know if you guys remember looking at a guy like Griezmann. During set one of uh, of Foot Birthday, I just remember seeing all of the Griezmanns that were put up on the market. And it was ridiculous. The amount of supply that was out there for some of these Foot Birthdays. A 92 rated Griezmann card. And having this much supply, like that's a lot of supply for a 92 rated promo card, to be honest. If we go back and look, like going up 50,000 coins, going up 45K, we go from having uh, like three cards. We only have three pages, but still, uh, I mean, if you go look at, at all of the Griezmann cards, these foot birthday cards, they had a decent amount of supply right away. There's a lot of them that are on the game. So um, that's why I think you're seeing a lot of, of this panic is because People have them invested, so they're panic selling their investments uh, to get coins. And then also, there's just a lot of supply on these cards, right? I mean, I can show you Pogba as well. Pogba was one point. Pogba was selling at 3 million coins first day. 3 million coins first day. And now the dude tonight, was uh, he was 1.7 flat. Now he's 1.75. One, one, Boys, I'm going to be honest. A lot of you guys want to know, is this stuff going lower? I think it goes lower right we're going to be doing over this next week i'm going to be looking at so many graphs of cards from last year uh looking at fifa 19 prices and just showing you how much of a drop off there is and also um i just want to remind you that right now where we were at in this market we were in a bubble like like we were in a bubble where a lot of prices were very high the market was very inflated think like post um, team of the year almost when a lot of stuff just rebounded so high from team of the year a lot of stuff at the beginning of foot birthday was not that high foot birthday came in a lot of coins were injected on the market and a lot of stuff just rose and that bubble has kind of been burst basically is what happened the market isn't really like it's going lower um, but a lot of these player prices were too high to begin with it was just that the state of the market where there was a lot of coins there was a lot of people on this game and there was a lot of hype for fifa so they were high, right? And that's why you're seeing some of these big drop-offs down to more reasonable ranges um, where maybe some of these cards would have been priced at. Uh, or like Bale right now is 1.2. He might have been, instead of being, you know, 1.8 or 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, he might have been more of like a 1.2, 3, 4 million coin card uh, if the market was more in a lower time frame um, than what it was when this promo first came out. Maybe that's just a theory, but I do know that the market was inflated for sure. Um these past couple weeks and now it's the bubble has kind of been burst but regardless a lot of stuff is dropping right and how much more is it going to drop it's going to keep going right now some of these foot birthday cards alan st maximin tonight was one point i think he had he hit like 1.25 he's literally up a hundred thousand coins almost from where he was like an hour ago he was 127 and now he is up right why is that fluctuation happening from 127 to now back up to 135 this is basically happening because a lot of the panic selling has stopped uh, because the EU has gone to sleep. When I'm recording this video, uh, what I want you guys to watch for tomorrow or today and tomorrow when the weekend league is ending, watch how more extreme this panic selling gets. We saw the brunt of it today. The first hit was today. But if something hasn't been hit yet, I was looking at some other cards like um, even this like Road to the Final Militao, who I was just looking at with my live stream on Twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. I stream there uh, multiple times a week. Check that link in the description. 
Uh, but this Militao card, okay, there's an undercut at 370, but he's not really down that much, man. You know, he's down 40k, but compared to a lot of the stuff on this game, uh, some stuff hasn't dropped that much yet. Some of the team of the years are dropping, um, and that's a lot of the questions that I'm getting, right? Team of the years, they're dropping. What's going on with those? These are better than some of the team of the season cards, um, but still, people panic sell these. Mbappe was just 4.5 million an hour ago. He's now 4.68. Um, and every single card in the team of the year is kind of a different situation because will they get a team of the season? We don't know. Um, but basically, I think almost everything right now, when you're watching this video on Saturday morning, I think it's going to be lower uh, on Saturday night and on Sunday night than it was today on Saturday morning and on Friday night. Because um, think about all the people that are still playing weekend league that haven't sold yet. And a lot of people, again, are, are going to start to realize, hey, team of season is coming. I need to sell to get liquid, to get my coins. Stuff is down already. Um, and, and the big thing that, that really makes me confident that the market is still going to fall more is not that so many people are going to be selling because there's going to be a lot of people that are selling, right? But the fact that, a, that who's going to be buying? This is, the, this is um, a time on the market where just nobody's going to be buying because they... Um, they know team of the season is coming and they know what that brings, right? There's going to be less people buying. They're just going to be sitting on their coins this week, ready to make moves. Uh, and that's going to make, you know, people want to know when's the lowest time. When is going to be the lowest time for this stuff? You know, it's it's really, it's going to be hard to say. It's really going to be hard to say because we had team of the season most consistent. And we're going to be looking at this. I'm going to do a lot of research um, looking at last year and looking at two years ago, looking at the panic selling in. Last year, we had a huge huge rebound in the market after Premier League team of the season. Uh, and even it started to happen during most consistent tots last year because of just the amount of coins that were input on the market. And kind of like what happened with team of the year this year, uh, I'll use Militao's graph again as an example. This is kind of how I expect things to go again, right? Militao might not be the best graph. Let's look at like Baby Eusebio because a lot of people are asking about this card. If you look at a lot of graphs on high tier players, right? He's 4.6 right now. Look at this graph. He goes to 5.3 million after the inflation after Black Friday. All right. Coin suck promo foot miss. Coins are going down, down, down. People are panic selling because they know team of the year is coming, right? Team of the year day. Right before team of the year starts, he is 3.7 million coins and he's out of packs, right? This baby Eusebio, one of the best players in the game, is out of packs, 3.7 million coins. Look at this rebound up to 5.2 mil a couple weeks ago, right? Are you going to see some of these prices dip down to where they were during team of the year? On some cards, no. But on a guy like Mbappe, who has been in packs this entire time and has been dropping this entire, you know, second half of the year, he's 450k right now. He was his lowest this entire year has been 438 in early March. I would not be surprised if this Mbappe card is 400,000 coins flat by the end of this weekend. Uh he's already dropped, you know, not quite 100,000 coins, but close. I think this card's going to end up dropping over 100K and he's going to be around 400,000 coins flat. And it's just going to be, that's how it's going to be. The panic selling on the gold cards hasn't hit that much yet. The panic selling has been mostly on the out of packs, the upper echelon, high tier cards, right? Conte is dropping. He was just 145 when I was looking on stream um, a couple minutes ago. He was 150, right? And he's down to 136. He was 136 midweek last week. So this isn't like a huge panic sell for Conte. You're going to really start to see the effect of the panic sell on cards like this. And, you know, cards that haven't dropped that much yet. Some icons haven't dropped that much yet. Uh, but Hyunmin Sun, right? Let's look at his 87 gold. This card was 105,000 coins midweek, right? He was like 105K, 109. He went up to 120 this weekend. He really hasn't dropped that much yet. I would expect this guy to be 100K at the end of this weekend. I really, really would. Uh, because that's what the panic selling is still going to continue boys. All right today on Saturday If you haven't got your cards out of your club already um, Basically almost anything Almost anything in this game. I would consider selling the only few things uh, and This is kind of how you want to look at it, right? You can't lose coins if your coins are in the top left hand corner of your stream of your of your screen Right if you got coins in the top left hand corner You can't lose because your coins are going to stay the same value, right? That's one way you can think of it a lot of times right now or basically almost everywhere across the market stuff Isn't going to be going up. So that's why i'm a fan of taking your coins taking a loss. You know what i'm with you 
you're sitting there, you're going to have to take a loss on an Mbappe or a Neymar that you bought. I'm with you, man. I bought all these Robertsons at 140,000 coins because I thought he was going to be able to rebound back to 160 after the Christian Fuchs SBC went away. And now this rival card didn't even sell last hour when I watched the cheapest one on the market for 114 k So I'm losing 30, 40,000 coins a card on those. And I've got, you know, a million right here. So I'm losing a lot of coins with you guys, right? There's a lot of people losing a lot of coins right now in foot. So um, it sucks. But what I, what I would do is, is take the loss and just reset, right? Don't panic, right? You, you're going to have to lose some coins. Just don't worry about it. Don't stress. Take the loss. Take take a breathe. Breathe in, breathe out, and it'll be okay. There's going to be so many coin-making opportunities during Team of the Season that you're going to make so many coins back if that's what your goal is, if you want to do that during TOTS. There's going to be so much to do that you're going to forget about anyways, and the cards hopefully are pretty hype. Hopefully you have a good card design and all sorts of stuff like that. But this is the, the thing. As we do start to do research and as we watch the market fall this weekend, this is what I want you guys to do, all right? And I talked about this before Team of the Year, and I talked about this before Black Friday. I want you to start setting a plan. What do you want to do during Team of the Season? We're going to have upgrade packs. We're going to have flashback SBCs out the wazoo. We're going to have icon upgrades. There's going to be a ton of stuff that you can put your coins into, but you got to figure out, and I want you to figure out, what's your plan going to be? Do you want to sell everything right now? Do you want to have your coins liquid like me? And do you want to buy a team during Team of the Season? Do you want to try out new Team of the Season cards so you want to have coins ready for that? Do you want to do um, tons and tons of upgrade packs like I'm going to do? What do you? I want you guys to just start planning out if you want to buy a team, what kind of players do you want on that team? And also kind of maybe segment some coins like, hey, I, I plan to spend five to seven and a half million coins on upgrades, right? I'm totally fine with getting myself down to a couple mil to do upgrades because doing that many upgrades, I'm going to be able to craft so many SBCs uh, that they put out during team of the season. And I'm also going to be improving my team by doing that by packing uh, team of the season players. So that's why I'm going to do that. I'm just going to continue to rock my full and tradable team. Uh, last year, one of my goals during team of the season was to actually buy a team. And I did. I bought a team. I did a bunch of upgrade packs. That's not it for me this year. I've got a nice enough team already for me. So just look into, into your scenario. What do you want to do with team of the season? And just remember, go back and look at some FIFA 19 team of the season, which we can do really, really fast. And I can show you guys how to get there. If you want to do your own research on looking at prices and stuff, go to the players tab and flip in FIFA 19, drop down to team of the weeks right there. And you can scroll down and look at all of these team of the weeks, right? So let's go team of the week. Uh, let's just go look at the prem, right? Look at some of these cards, man. This is why there's panic selling on the market because you have the opportunity to sell some of those cards and get some guys like this. Erickson, look at that card. Bernardo Silva, this card was so cracked last year, man. So, so, so cracked. And you're like, yo, this dude's got this insane of a card, a position change. This guy got to be expensive, right? 400K, that's it. Some of these cards are going to be very, very affordable for what they normally would have been throughout the rest of the year. This 98 Hazard, right? 98 Hazard. This is like a Team of the Year-esque card. You know, it, it was 3 million coins. Um, but a lot of these cards are cheaper just because there's so much. That, look at the quality. 94 Lacazette. We have a 90 rated Lacazette out right now. Of course, it's got the weak foot upgrade. But this guy was a million coins, right? 1-2 up to 1-5. And again, see this rebound? There's going to be plenty of coin making opportunities during this promo. Trust me, there's going to be so many coin making opportunities during team this season. You're not going to go short on coins if you want to trade during tots as well. So start to form your plan, get your coins liquid if you want to, if you're running a tradable squad, if, if you've got to sell some players. Icons, this is what I want to say about icons, right? Uh, I'll use like a middle Ronaldinho as my example. These guys are going to continue to drop. But remember this year that if you want to buy any of these cards for your team, these cards are not in packs like they were in previous years. So if you're looking at past year's graphs, right? Dino right now is 2.26. Wow, man. He was just 2.5 yesterday. A card like this is not in packs because baby and middle versions are no longer in packs. So the panic selling, you're, the earlier that you can pick up these, uh, is going to have to be the, the better, right? So if you're planning on buying a guy like this for your team, you know, you're going to have to set those coins aside earlier if you want to get like the best buy price um, because the panic selling is where you really have to pick up on some of these guys. 
Uh, but, you know, they could still drop. I was giving the example to somebody in the stream tonight about middle block. Middle block, right? Middle block, 89 rated. He's like 800,000 coins. This is a French center back. Think about how many French center backs that we're going to get during this promo that are going to look so much better than Blanc. I know Blanc is an icon, um, and I know he's got really good stats, and he just ha he's an icon, right? Think about this Mukiele card that's in Team of the Season most consistent that could win. We were literally looking at this on stream. What is this guy going to look like with a Team of the Season card? Reminder that Blanc is 800k+. plus. This guy is going to have like high 80s pace. He's going to have uh, high 80s to 90 defending and physical because he's going to get plus 10 boosts in every single stat category. This card's going to be cracked, bro. It's going to be so cracked and it's going to be like 200k. That's all the more expensive some of these cards are going to be. So would you buy this card who has similar stats to, to a middle icon Blanc for 200k in the team of the season variant? Or are you going to go pay 800k or 700k for a Blanc? You're going to go buy the team of the season. So what team of the season does is it allows people for cheap prices and um, lower budgets on, in some cases for some cards, not like the Suns, not, not the Hazards, not the Abamyangs, uh, but it allows just crazy card stats. And a lot of those prices are actually pretty bearable. So team of the season most consistent, get your votes in. I think the voting closes on Monday or something like that, but get your votes in on that. I know this video is a bit longer. Um, but I wanted to try to give you guys all this information and watch out for videos this week because there's going to be lots of them. Uh, and we're going to be diving into prices. We're going to be watching the panic selling and watching this really, really head on. Cause I know a lot of you guys are really interested in making coins. A lot of you guys want to buy a team and a lot of you guys, uh, have a lot of different goals over this tots promo. And I want to be here to cover it all. Look at last year, um, and ways that we traded and made coins and look at the market as a whole. So we'll talk about that and of course cover any new information that we get about team of the season. So stack packs as well. You, you might as well, right? Why would you open packs right now? I've got even a couple packs in there. Save your packs if you want to, but don't open them for team of the season most consistent. Save them for prem tots or something like that. So that's the video today. Team of the season is here, boys. A bit earlier. Like, you know, tots is going to start at the end of April. And I wonder if it's a move by EA to try to, you know, keep things moving in their game because I don't know what else they would have done, uh, but they're going and doing it. So hopefully we get some just absolutely dope content for team of the season this year. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. It's going to be a fun couple of months on foot with team of the season. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Check the links in the description as well. Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.